884-megawatt Suki Kanari Hydro Power Project is under construction since 2017 in Kagan Valley District, Montserrat. The project is listed among the highest priority early harvest projects within the strategic CPEC. It is a diversion-type runoff river project that poses minimal environmental and social impacts due to its high head and relatively short intake structure and reservoir. Let's witness the detailed insight of construction activities. The dam site of the project is located about 10 kilometers upstream of Kagan Town. The water retaining structure is an asphalt concrete core rockfill dam with a maximum height of 54.5 meters and a total crest length of the dam is 336 meters. The plastic concrete cutoff wall was built for dam seepage control. The placement of asphalt core and filling of main dam is in progress. Recently, the placement of asphalt layer has been halted due to temperature variation and dropped below zero at the construction site. On 27 November, the top slab of double layer spillway has been completed successfully. The total poured concrete volume is about 156,000 cubic meters. Since the start of the structural concrete works of the spillway in February 2020, the construction team faced many difficulties such as extreme weather, the spread of the epidemic, and transportation of machinery and manpower, however with determination and experience, this important milestone has been achieved. The National Highway N15, which connects Gilgit Baltistan through Naran Valley, will be inundated in the reservoir. About 5 km long National Highway is under construction at a higher elevation which has a traffic tunnel of more than 400 meters length. The excavation, support installation, retaining walls, and construction of culverts are in progress. Water from the reservoir will be diverted through intake structure to run through 23 kilometers long concrete lined headrace tunnel. The headrace tunnel is crossing through relatively high mountainous terrain in several fault zones. Due to long headrace tunnel, Ada Ditz provided the access and excavation was done from multiple work fronts. The excavation with the drilling and blasting method is in progress. The support work is immediately installed after each round. Overall, 90% of excavation and support work of headrace tunnel has been completed so far. The concrete lining is in progress between breakthrough sections of headrace tunnel. In short section of the headrace tunnel where poor geological conditions and shallow overburden exist, steel lining was installed. The milestone was achieved in October 2021. The headrace tunnel ended at 234 meters deep double chamber surge shaft, which was being constructed to neutralize the hammering effect of water due to the sudden shutdown of turbines. The excavation of 25 meters diameter upper chamber is already completed and widening of the guide shaft from 2 meters to 7.2 meters is in progress. Due to extremely poor ground conditions, mechanical excavation and installation of heavy support are being implemented. The valves will be installed at the beginning of the penstock system to control the water. For this purpose, a 50 meters long and 10 meters high valve chamber is being excavated. The excavation, support works and installation of instrumentation has been completed recently. The lean concrete and fixing of reinforcement in valve pits are in progress. About 2 km long twin penstock system consists of pressure tunnels and pressure shafts are being excavated through challenging geological conditions. The penstock group is divided into three portions namely upper, middle and lower pressure tunnels and pressure shafts. The excavation of all pressure tunnels and one pressure shaft is already completed however, the excavation and support activities are in progress on other pressure shafts. The guide shaft having a diameter of 1.65 meters has already been achieved. 
The expansion of the guide shaft from 1.65 meters to 5 meters with the drilling and blasting method is in progress. Considering the importance of the structure and geological conditions, strict safety and construction measures are in practice. After the bottom of the lower pressure shaft and near to the powerhouse, the twin penstock tunnels further bifurcated into two branches. The steel liner and bifurcation sections have been installed and fabrication works are in progress. The local and foreign experienced welders are involved in this specialized work. After welding, the quality of welding was tested according to the best international practices. Suki Kanari project has underground powerhouse and transformer halls. The construction activities at the underground powerhouse complex are in full swing. The civil and electro-mechanical works are in progress side by side. The main powerhouse is housed with four generating units, and construction on all four units is in progress. The major structural works on three units have already been completed, and only one is remaining. Recently, the hoisting of stator for unit number three and four has been achieved successfully, and preceding electromechanical works are in progress. The assembling works for unit number two stator have been started at the erection bay. After core lamination, the stator of unit number two will be hoisted into the machine pit. The main inlet valve to control the water for each generating unit has arrived at the site. To install, the construction of the main inlet valve foundation for unit number four is in progress. The main shaft has been lowered and survey works for the installation of lower guide bearing is in progress. The Pakistan's largest Pelton turbines with 225 megawatts capacity for each generating unit will be installed in this powerhouse. The project quality standards with high accuracy and precision are always adopted during construction. The final slab for unit number two has been casted recently. The fixing of reinforcement and other electromechanical installation was completed prior to pouring the concrete. To maintain precision during the installation of embedded parts, the experienced survey team is always present at the construction site. The transformer cavern is located 45 meters downstream from the powerhouse and connected with four bus bars and two internal access tunnels. The structural work of transformer floor has been completed. The installation of track for shifting of 13 single-phase transformers are in progress. The concrete slab for HV outgoing cable floor is in progress. The main transformer cavern and outdoor switchyard are connected through the GIL tunnel. Bus ducts from four units will be routed through four bus bar tunnels independently from the powerhouse to the transformer cavern and evacuated through the GIL tunnel. The 500 kV outdoor switchyard is located on a comparatively flat hillside beside the main batching plant near the powerhouse. The foundation treatment, waterproofing, and pouring of concrete for GIS building are going on at an accelerated pace. Considering the poor ground conditions, the steel lining has been designed for a short section of the headrace tunnel and the whole stretch of penstock system. To produce the steel cans, as per site requirement, a state-of-the-art steel factory has been erected within the project area. The factory is equipped with a 4,000 tons hydraulic press, gantry cranes, CNC cutting machine, welding cross arm, and a bunch of other advanced equipment. The peak monthly manufacturing capacity is 950 tons. Approximately 70% of fabrication works in the steel factory have been completed, and the remaining works are going on in full swing. The strict quality assurance system is exercised to detect the welding flaws. 
The non-destructive testing including visual testing, ultrasonic testing, penetration testing, and time-of-flight diffraction TOFD, is in practice. After sandblasting and painting, the cans were transported to the respective site. The low-bed trucks were used for transportation of steel cans from steel factory to penstock area. During the epidemic, the project progress is affected. However, the contractor has so far deftly managed the situation and continued the construction works at the site which is commendable. The project expected completion date is December 2022. Let's hope the project complete, as per schedule and contribute positively, to manage the country's energy shortage. Allah be praised. Thanks viewers for watching. Thumbs up if you like. Write us your valuable suggestion in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more informative and exciting videos about energy projects. Share the video link if you feel value.